Alright, what's up everybody? My name's Duncan Mana. I'm back again with another episode of this NU Live session that I was doing a few days ago. I know that it's been quite a while since I uploaded, but pretty much every time I try to and every time I feel like up, uh, uploading, somebody comes and interrupts me while I'm recording. And it just, it annoys the hell out of me, but I'm gonna try and get away with it, uh, get a couple battles in, maybe one or two in this episode, and um, you know, ho hopefully I don't get interrupted. So let's just hop into a battle. Stop talking about it so much. And we got one against Super Super Lifeguard. So we're going to give a smiley face. He's got a pretty threatening, fairly standard looking team. Don't see a lot of Buff Want and Golurk anymore. But uh, regardless, hmm. He's, I mean, he could lead with Archeops or Vivalon. So I want something that can take them on. I don't really have much to, though. I'm just going to lead with. Yeah, I'm going to lead with Gramble here because he'll get the minus one attack on this. And there's no Pokemon on his team that'll stop me from going for play rough, so that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I don't miss. Nice, I do a solid chunk of damage there. I don't I think Golurk's faster than me. Golurk. Yeah. Gramble. Uh he is faster than me. I feel like I can take a hit though and go for the crunch. He goes for Stealth Rock, so that's great too. Take that Golurk out completely. Um, no longer a threat, and Gramble, not even hurt, not even hurt. So he brings out Vivalon now. I do think he wants to go for the Quiver Dance. I mean, not the Quiver Dance, the uh, Sleep Powder, which makes this tough because I want I want Mango to take it, but at the same time, he's weak to both of this thing's stabs, so. I don't want him to be asleep taking a couple of hits. So what I'm going to do is switch into my... Actually, I don't know if I should do that. I really want to save Dragalge for the Feraligator. But I really have nothing else to... Okay. I really have nothing else to take this thing on, so... He just goes straight for the Quiver Dance. Doesn't even... No pretenses about Sleep Powder, huh? I'm just going to T-Bolt, I guess. That's fine. I'm sure I can take at least one hit and then definitely definitely hurt him pretty bad with the Thunderbolt, even though he is at plus two special defense. Nice! What? Dribbles what? Sleep heals at status? What is that? What? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go for Sludge Wave here, I guess. He doesn't miss... This thing is definitely going to be a problem. But if I can get some damage off on it. Nice. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I do not know why I keep getting healed. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know why. But. <laughs> nice. He does miss. So I do have this thing for another turn, <laughs> at least. But I think that uh, pretty much anything on his team, barring Sceptile, can take me out from here. So that's kind of a shame. Um, Archeops does come in here. He's probably going to go for the Earthquake. Do I really want to risk it? Because I could go into either Pelipper here to avoid the Earthquake or... Mesprit, but honestly, he's faster than both of those and can hit them with a Stone Edge. I think I'm just gonna go for the T Bolt again. Yeah, he can do that, but I can just go right into my Gramble again and not take a whole lot of. Uh, I don't know. He's claiming hacks is the reason for him, for me waking up, but I don't know. I said I was healed, not that I woke up. Don't know what that's all about. So that's kind of interesting. Really not sure what's going on with um, with old Trigalgy here, but it's pretty cool. I guess it helped me 
in that instance. Um, Alright, well this thing is not useless, but do I really have anything to switch into it? No. So on the off chance that he... Yeah. And now I can bring in Ludicolo and go for the Whirlpool. Nice. So I definitely got him trapped in here now and he's going to have to fight me with this. Which is fine because I have the Ice Beam. And he's not going to be at high enough health to deal with me. Even if he Giga Drains. So that's cool. I can bring in my Zangoose now and go for the Quick Attack. Mm, yeah, I should have gone for something else because I knew he was going to switch into Archaeops here. Uh, right now, he's probably going to go for the Stone Edge. Maybe he'll miss. Oh, he goes for the Sky Attack. Dang! <laughs> that thing is too dangerous. Well, I honestly think I can take a hit from it with this, even at 75%, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, I definitely didn't play this match as well as I could have, but I was kind of caught off guard by some of the things on his team there. Nope, did, did not take a hit. These things are too strong. But it's alright. Just gonna go for Psy Shock. I don't die, but I'm gonna die soon. Yeah. Alright. So I'm just gonna give him a GG. And then we'll be on our way to another battle. So that one didn't go quite my way. This one probably won't either. He's got something. This thing's gonna be annoying. So what I'm thinking of doing is... I, I kind of want to lead off with this, but I, I don't know. I don't know how fast low punting is. It's much faster than me, so it's not even worth, worth doing. Mm, I'm gonna lead off with Mango. And he doesn't have much of an answer for it directly, except for Unpheasant. And he leads off with Unpheasant, so <laughs> what do you know? Um, because of that, I'm going to go into my Trigalogy. Maybe he'll get poisoned on this. Yes! Yes! Poison point! Um, so at least Unpheasant's on a timer of sorts now, but it probably has Roost. Um, he can definitely go into Seismitoad right here. But I know that Pelipper is a pretty good stop to that. Can't really do a whole lot, but I don't know. It's basically a stalemate between the two for the most part. And I don't know. I could also switch into my Ludicolo on the Seismitoad, not really fear anything either. But I'm trying to think of what he has to stop that. I don't know. All right, so he's going to go for some sort of trick right here. I don't have anything that really wants to take a trick. I'm just going to go for Sludge Wave. Low Pony always has a lot of tricks up its sleeve, which is really irritating because it means that you can hardly ever predict what it's going to do. He's going to go for Cosmic Power. Interesting. Definitely not very cool. Oh my gosh, what the hell? Cosmic power? I didn't even know it learned that. Um, whatever. I'm just going to switch into Gramble here. And see what he wants to do. He could BP here. I guess. Into Zatu. I want to say. Um. I want to go for close combat. But I don't want to in case he does baton pass into something like Zatu because then I'll be at weakened defense. Fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. Alright, he gives me the flame orb and I get the... Oh god, he didn't die! Hmm... Well, right here, I'm going to go for the play rough because he does baton pass. Probably into Zatu, which is fine. They're gonna get a decent amount of damage off, I guess. And then I'm going to switch into... Not that. Can't really do anything against it with that. Is it base 95? 
Yes, it is. So, oh my gosh, I hate baton pass so much. This is another reason why I actually didn't want to upload too much because I've seen the rise of Zatu on baton pass teams, particularly in combination with, um, what's that Pokemon called? Combuskin. And, you know, I really don't care for that thing too much, so I've kind of been avoiding playing, I guess, for that reason as well. Because Baton Pass is still broken, even with one Pokemon on a team being allowed to have it. It just, if you can set up a couple of boosts like this into something that has magic bounce or whatever, it's untouchable. Because he can, he can go for a Calm Mind right here and, you know, possibly end up killing me. I get a crit. Yes! Um, that's what you need to do to beat these Baton Pass teams. It's ridiculous. It's not fun to play against. It doesn't involve a whole lot of strategy. And look, he forfeited because he couldn't beat me with his Atsu. So, um, not not exactly my favorite time to be playing in you, needless to say. Right here, he could lead off with Reggie. He's probably going to lead off with... Um, Raichu, I would imagine, for the Volt Switch, but he could also lead with uh, maybe Regirock to get up rocks or something like that, or even Mesprit to get up rocks. Um, which makes this kind of difficult. I guess I'm just going to lead off with this thing. Yes, I am physically defensive, and he doesn't expect the T-Bolt, so I don't know if he's going to go straight for the Brave Bird or not. He does. He does a lot of damage. Gets a lot of recoil, and does he die? He dies. So... Thunderbolt coming through, definitely going to want to save this thing as well for the Mantine, as well as my Mesprit, so... Uh, going to go into Gramble right here. He might go for a U-turn, which would be okay, I guess. I'm not going to take a lot of damage from the U-turn on my Gramble if that's what he wants to go for, and since I am especially defensive... Excuse me, uh, since I am Assault Fest, the only thing that's going to really hurt me is Psy Shock, and there it is, but it doesn't two-hit KO. And I don't really have a reason not to go for Crunch right here. Don't know if he really wants to expect that or what. He might go into his um, Swalot, come to think of it. He goes into Regirock, which is okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to guess that Earthquake isn't going to do a whole lot to this thing. So, okay, I have to go for it. He has Stone Edge and he gets a crit. Okay, I guess that's fair too. right here. Um, I'm going to go for... I mean, he could go into his Mantine, I guess. But I'm not really worried about that thing. Because I do have Giga Drain, which will still kind of hurt. I'm going to go for Whirlpool. I'm sure I'm faster than this. Unless he's speed invested. Just by a little. He did go into this, which is okay, because he can't do anything to me, even with Air Slash. So, I might come out on top here against him. Yeah, I'm a little bit rusty now, since I haven't played in a few days, but I still, I do enjoy playing when it's against teams that aren't broken as hell. So yeah, that didn't do a whole lot. And he outsped me? Hello? What? Since when does Mantine outspeed me? I didn't know that. Alright, I'm just going to switch into this thing right here. That Air Slash still does a lot. Now, he's probably expecting the Psy Shock, or maybe even, I don't know, T-Bolt? I don't think Mesprit gets T-Bolt, but he goes into Raichu definitely expecting the T-Bolt, which is awesome, because now I can just go into my... This, Trigalgy, take the bolt switch like it's nothing, and he dies to life orb. Sweet. So that's definitely, I think that was definitely the best play I could have made. Anything else would have taken a lot of damage from a life orb, Thunderbolt, even Ludicolo, so. Man, you gotta have that time where you just like... Uh, Regirock. From the scene. Regirock could be a problem here. Because like, and, and he's, he's, I think he's faster. 
yeah, definitely faster. But he's probably just going to go for Stone Edge, I want to say. Um, is he going to go for Stone Edge here? That would probably be his best play. Man, I don't even know. I don't I don't really have anything that can hurt this thing on him though. What is this good for? This dies to Mesprit. Can't really hurt Swalot. Can't hurt that very much. Can hurt Mantine, but Mantine will outspeed. So I'm just gonna stand and go for the Dragon Pulse. He did go for the Stone Edge, so. Glad I didn't switch into my Pelipper right there. But now I can still I can still go into Mango here, I think, and go for the Giga Drain. I don't really have much to lose by doing that. Even if Mantine wants to come back in, I'll get health off of it before it gets health off of me, so... That's also a bonus. Uh, uh... Is he speed invested? No, he's just fast. Okay. Yeah, he's well, it's a speed tie, I guess, but he's probably... A little bit of speed invested just to always win these kind of encounters so that's a thing he can go into a swallot I really don't care at all if he goes into swallot because I do think that um, either either Ludicolo or Pelipper can handle it just fine so I get a lot of HP back from that he does a lot back do I go for I don't go for it again. I don't think. I'm gonna go for Scald. He goes into Swalot, definitely. I knew that he would do that. That's why I didn't go for Giga Drain again, because it was too predictable. He wasn't gonna go into his Mantine on that. Took that nice. Took that real nice. And here, I wanna say I just go for Air Slash. Oh, I didn't want to get that flinch on him, but whatever. I'm going to go for Scald again. And now, hmm, he could try and save this. Air Slash would do the most, but I think he wants to go into his man team, to be honest. I don't know. I'm going to go for Air Slash again. Yeah, Scald would have been a better play, but I didn't want him to get a free switch into his man time right there, so... I neglected to go for Skull. <laughs> Even though Air Slash wouldn't have done a whole lot to his um, what you jigger, to his um, Mantine, it would have done something. So right here, I don't think I need this thing as much. So I'm just going to go for Skull. He's probably going to go for T-Bolt, um, which I'm still not sure it learns, but I think he... Oh, man. Is he going to go into Mantine? He did. Whatever. That's fine. I don't really give crap. <laughs> so it's the Water Birds facing off. I'm just going to get as much damage off as I can. He gets a lot. Okay. What the hell is going on, man? I'm just going to go into this thing now. I know I outspeed. I'm just going to go for the knockoff. Because my facade's not really boosted, and he goes into Regirock, I guess, expecting the, um, the, mm, what you call it, attack. The normal attack, yeah. I'm gonna go for CC here. Don't really care about the defenses. I'm just gonna switch out, probably, on whatever he brings in. I know I can outspeed Mantine with this. So what I want to do right here is sack my, my, uh, Ludicolo on the off chance that he's scarfed and then go into my Mesprit and then I'm going to go for do I want to go for Psy Shock? I'm gonna go for Signal Beam I'm gonna go for Signal Beam because he is he is choiced and he takes a fudge load fudge load of damage from that and that should be enough to die to a quick attack I, I would assume so yeah, you can do what you want, but I'm going to go for the side shock right here, and 
Wow, everything's kind of lagging a little bit. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for Psyshock here. I'm going to outspeed, most likely, because he is leftovers. I know that since I think I'm timid, I should be able to, yeah, get a huge chunk of damage off and then die to whatever move he wants to go for, unless it's rest. That would suck. Nope. He goes for Scald. So I can come in and just easily go for the, the sod. Definitely go for the sod. This is going to be close. I don't want to take a hit from Scarf Mesprit, is the thing, so I'm going to have to go for Quick Attack. And um, if that doesn't kill, then I lose. But if it does kill, then I win. So let's see. Quick Attack. Doesn't kill. Oh, oh my god, but I live. Wow. Wow. Definitely. Alright, so that was a really close game. Really, really close game. Much closer than I thought it would be. Um, for a second, I thought I was going to lose. For a second, I thought I was going to win easy. But um, it turns out it came out really, really close. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun with that last battle, even though the first couple were kind of um, kind of sweeps for my opponents. Um, regardless, um, I'm going to end this episode here. So until next time, peace.